hello welcome to my channel if you are new here you're welcome and if you're old you're super super welcome this video will demonstrate how to solve numerical problems on chi square test of goodness of faith that is i will demonstrate how to calculate a test statistic and a p-value for a chi square goodness of faith test before then guys in case you are new in this channel please kindly subscribe thank you please note once goodness of fit test is involved, the focus is on one categorical variable with multiple levels. For example, the data here considered one category and that category is candy colors. And then we have multiple levels being color red, green, blue and yellow. Now let's look at the challenge we have on the board. A researcher wants to test whether the distribution of colors of candies in a bag matches the theoretical distribution based on the manufacturer's distribution. He selects 200 candies from the bag and records the following count. So for color red, he observed 50 candies. For green, the observed frequency is 70. Blue has 30 as its observed frequency. Lastly, yellow has 50. While the manufacturer's distribution is 40% for red, 30% for green, blue has 20%, while yellow has 10%. To test if this observed frequencies matches the manufacturer's distribution, first thing to do is state the hypothesis. And now hypothesis states that the observed frequencies of colors matches the expected frequencies, while our alternative hypothesis states that the observed frequencies of colors does not match the expected frequencies. Next is to calculate the expected frequencies. We we'll start with calculation of the expected frequency for color red. First of all, we have to add all the manufacturer's distributions together. 40% plus 30% plus 20 plus 10 gives 100%. So the expected frequency for color red will be 40 divided by 100 times 200. Remember, the bag contains 200 candies, that is 50 plus this plus this plus this, right? And so 40 divided by 100 times 200 gives 80. Now let's proceed to calculating the expected frequency for green color. That will be 30 divided by 100 times 200 gives 60. Expected frequency for blue color will be 20 divided by 100 times 200. For yellow color, expected frequency will be 10 divided by 100 times 200. Next is to calculate the chi-square test statistic. So the formula to calculate a chi-square test statistic is summation observed frequency minus expected frequency all square divided by expected frequency. Now let's get the observed frequency minus expected frequency for red color. The observed frequency for red color is 50 minus expected frequency being 80 gives minus 30. So following our formula, minus 30 square gives 900 divided by 80. We have 45 over 4. Now let's get chi square test statistics for color green. The observed frequency for green is 70 minus Expected frequency for green is 60. Following our formula, all square divide by expected frequency, that is 60. And so 70 minus 60 gives us 10 all square divide by 60. 10 square divide by 60. Let's move to calculation of test statistics for blue. The observed frequency for blue is 30 minus the expected frequency for blue is 40 all square divide by the expected frequency being 40. Finally, let's calculate the statistic for yellow color. Following our formula, the observed frequency for yellow we have 50 minus expected frequency for yellow we have 20. All square divide by expected frequency. Of course, we have 20 here. Looking at our formula, this symbol here means summation. So we are expected to sum up all these values here. So we have 45 over 4 plus 5 over 3 plus 5 over 2 plus 45. So our chi calculated is 60.42. Next is to determine the degrees of freedom. 
we have four multiple levels that is red green blue and yellow so our degrees of freedom will be four minus one which is three next is to find the critical value for a significant level of 0.05 at degree of freedom 3. This is our chi distribution table. We are looking at degrees of freedom 3 and our significant level is 0.05. So this is the value 7.815. Now let's compare our test statistics being 60.42 with the critical value 7.815. Since our test statistics is greater than the critical value, We'll reject now and accept the alternative hypothesis. Since we accepted the alternative hypothesis, we then draw a conclusion based on that. So our conclusion will be that the observed frequencies of colors does not match the expected frequencies. So we've succeeded in testing this hypothesis. I hope this video helps. Please do wait to like this video, leave an amazing comment, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.